Wall Street Bets is Parlor 2.0, right? And and what happened? As soon as Wall Street Bets started, which is the, the 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 Reddit kids, they started threatening and they wounded these powerful insiders, these rich, you know, hedge fund magnates. What happened? They started getting banned off of Discord. They got Discord as a tech company to kick them off. How did that happen? They've been talking on there for months. And all of a sudden, just magically, right at the critical moment where they're also not allowed to trade, their free speech gets cut off. That's a, that, that was deliberate. And I'll, and I'll tell you how it happens is I guarantee you what these hedge funds did is they went through the discord room and they screenshotted, you know, any post that they could plausibly characterize as, you know, hate speech or what have you. And, you know, and, and by the way, I mean, those, there's a lot of raunchiness in these rooms, but it's not hate speech and it's not, organized for the purpose of hate. It's organized for the purpose of trades. But what they do is they weaponize the censorship rules and they go in and they screenshot and then they give it to Discord and they get these guys kicked off. And this is exactly what I've been talking about with censorship. It starts with something you like and then becomes something you don't. How many of the people who support these, you know, Reddit kids were in favor of deplatforming Trump and Parler. And now they can see where it goes. This is a slippery slope. And we've only had to wait three weeks to see where it goes. It goes to the same place, which is when the people in power get threatened, they use these rules, they weaponize these rules to shut down the outsiders and the upstarts. That is the problem with censorship. That is why you cannot let the beast get started.